Four years ago, my wife asked for a wood house candle holder, so I made her a whole damn village. Well, the villagers did what villagers do, and now they need a town. So I decided to accommodate the growing population by making more houses from 4x4, 2x6, and 2x8 lumber. I first traced the roof line onto a board with a speed square. I made some houses with gabled roofs and some with mansard like the one shown here. This board will make two houses. There's a simple trick to drilling the chimney hole. If you cut the roof line first, you won't be able to drill a chimney, because the Forstner drill bit needed for this project can't handle an angle like that without a special jig or drill guide. The trick is to first determine where you want the chimney hole to be, and then to drill it out from the uncut board. A Forstner bit is perfect for this as it bores beautifully smooth holes and spits out the waste wood as it penetrates. I drilled chimney holes in both ends of the board and then I cut the roof lines with a miter saw. It's easier to work with a longer board when cutting miters and that's why I work two ends at once. When both roof lines were cut, I determined how tall I wanted each house to be and then I cut the board into two houses. For the chimneys, I used both one inch and three quarter inch copper pipe to accommodate different sized candles. But all the houses made with two by six and two by eight lumber have three quarter inch chimneys. I cut the pipe with a simple and inexpensive tubing cutter and then I inserted the copper chimney into the wood houses. These wood house candle holders can be finished in any way you like. I stained some, painted others black, shellacked a few, and left a couple of them untouched. They can be used with real candles or LED, or you can just display the houses with no candles. They look good enough to stand on their own. For a more detailed video tutorial, check out our Instagram highlight bubble, and for an in-depth written tutorial, head on over to our blog. Follow along for more fun and easy holiday crafts and DIYs.